Hello and welcome to today's video where I will be discussing peeling apples. Now, I don't know about you, but with me, I average between 10 to 20 apples per week with making homemade applesauce. That means each week I am coring, peeling, and slicing 10 to 20 apples. That is very time consuming and so that's why I got very excited when I saw this. When I saw this, like I said, I got super excited in the store, automatically had to buy it, and this is my video testing out my new toy. Do you not know what this is? Let me give you a little history. But before we get started, make sure to select the subscribe button. That way you can be subscribed to my channel and be updated when new videos come out. Select like if you like the video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Now on to the history lesson and then the experiment. So let's peel back apples in history. Have you ever made homemade apple pie, homemade applesauce, homemade apple cider? How long do you think it takes just to peel and core five apples? How many apples do you think it takes to fill one apple pie? Well, if you look on the picture on the left, that is a picture of a 16th century apple pie that I made that takes five apples. And per apple, it takes me roughly five to 10 minutes to peel, core, and slice an apple. So if you can think about it, do the math, five to 10 minutes per apple times five apples. That is for just one pie. That's a lot, and that is very time consuming. Apples in the 19th century, most if not all homeowners at this time had apple trees. Thank you to Johnny Appleseed. If you want to learn more about the man who influenced the character of Johnny Appleseed, at the very end of this, there will be a link to Mike Viney, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing his last name. Please correct me if I am but he has a paper and in that paper there is a description of a man who inspired the Johnny Appleseed character and I really recommend reading his paper. These homeowners had apple trees in the 19th century which could produce as much as two tons of apples per season. Two tons! That is 4,000 pounds of apples. To put it another way, one pound of apples is equivalent to four small apples, three medium apples, or two large apples. So imagine, two large apples is one pound. Now times that into two tons. That's a lot of apples to do something with. The good thing, apples were a winter staple as both food and drink. You could do many things with apples. You can make cider with it, apple pie with it, apple turnovers, apple sauce. If anything, use the apples and you could, if you lived on a farm, feed your pigs the apples. There are many things to do with apples. The earliest apple parer machines um, date to the late 18th century. Before that, everything was done by hand, but as American colonists began to plant apple trees and create orchards. Well, they had all of these apples. Remember those 4,000 pounds worth of apples? That's a lot to do by hand. And that's where the apple parer machines first came into existence. According to legend, Eli Whitney, who was the inventor of the cotton gin in 1794, he designed a mechanical apple parer machine in 1778. He was only 13 at the time. The first machines involved more wood and leather straps. The later machines involved more metal gears. Moses Coates was granted the first patent for an apple parer in 1803. Over a hundred parer patents had been granted between 1850 and 1890. Just wrap your head around that for a moment. 
in 40 years, over 100 different patents were made for a simple pairer machine. That tells you how many different varieties of machines there were. Some had spinning disks, others did not. Some were tall, some were wide. But this graph on the right hand side shows you how many para patents were granted in what years. And here are some examples of different para machines that we find in the 19th century. On the left hand side is the first turntable para, um, which was patent, patented by Horatio Keys in 1856. On the right hand side is a para machine that was nicknamed the Union. And it was patented by the Whitmore brothers in 1865. It was also advertised in the American Agriculturist in the August 1865 issue. And here are a few more examples of the different varieties that you could find in the 19th century. The Harpster 68 was made in 1872 by the Harpster brothers and company. And on the right hand side, is the lightning apple pearer, which was patented on October 6, 1863. So as you can see, these machines, if I'll go back, they each have a little bit of a difference to them, but they're also similar. They have a handle that spins. You can see the little prongs that the apple goes on. You can see the little metal, I don't know what you want to call it, tooth that will help skin the apple. Here you can see, like on the picture on the right, you can see the prongs, you can see the handle, and just different ways of attaching an apple to the prongs, feeding the apple through the machine, and we'll get more into that in a minute to show you how this works. If you want more information, here are some websites to look at. The paper that I referenced earlier is the last link, and that is to his paper on the appeal to American apple pairers. And just a reminder, please subscribe. First, you want to put your machine down, make sure it's on a flat surface. And then do you see this lever right here? I'm going to flip the lever. And now my machine is secured to the counter. I cannot move it. Next, I'm going to flip this lever and pull this back. Next, I'm going to take my apple. You want to use the top part of the apple and I'm going to stab it. And this right here, you want to go in between your three prongs. My suction does not seem to be the best. How cool is that? A little bit of skin on the bottom, but other than that, I now have a sliced apple. And as you saw, it took me only a few seconds to peel, core, and slice my apples. Now I'm cutting them in half, and I'm going to be making applesauce. I will post the link to how I make homemade applesauce.
Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Remember to select like if you like the video and click subscribe to be updated when new videos come out.